here at Rosego Creole, there isn't just patties and plantains on offer. They're serving a taste of home. Once you eat the food, that's the first introduction to our community. The love we put in the food. The restaurant, which opened a little over a year ago, is a sign of Springfield's growing Haitian population. They came here to escape the violence and anarchy in their home country. Most of them are legally authorized to live and work in the U.S. under a program expanded by the Biden administration. Like many blue-collar towns in the Midwest, Springfield's population had been declining for years. Marjorie Kowaleski says Haitians came here because jobs and cheap housing were plentiful. She and her daughter run a small translation and advice center for newcomers in the back room of this Haitian grocery store. The Haitian community has given new life to the community because they are active participant in the economy. But then the numbers rose quickly. Officials estimate there are now anywhere between 12 and 15,000 Haitians in Springfield. They say the city's infrastructure and public services are overwhelmed. In August of 2023, a car driven by a Haitian migrant hit a school bus, killing an 11-year-old boy and prompting even more concern from residents about the growing presence of Haitian migrants. William Monahan is a former journalist. He helps run a Facebook group where Springfielders share their thoughts about everything from safety, the economy, to rumors of pets disappearing. Losing homes, losing jobs, um, just costs going up so high that you can't afford uh, things you used to be able to afford. Mostly, above all that, is talking about how our city government ignores our concerns and mocks us and insinuates that our concerns are rooted in some sort of misplaced racial antipathy towards Haitians. William says he's ambivalent about Trump's claims that Haitian migrants are stealing and eating pets, but at least appreciates that they have drawn national spotlight to an issue he feels has long been ignored. But for the Haitian community, Trump's comments have caused nothing but fear. Marjorie Kowaleski has been getting panicked calls for the past two weeks. They don't know what they've done because they're trying to behave themselves, do what's right. And they don't know if one day the white supremacists are going to attack. They don't know if the locals are going to attack them, and especially those with children. And it's not just the Haitian community that's been affected since Donald Trump's comments. There have been dozens of bomb threats here in Springfield, forcing some schools to evacuate their students. The city has also canceled the annual culture fest. At Rosego Creole, the debacle has had an unexpected twist. People are flocking to the restaurant to show their support. This couple from Arkansas came here to send a message. We're supporting this community today, but next week it could be a different community, targeted just for political gain. Both city and local Haitian community leaders are calling for calm. They want Springfield out of the spotlight and on a path to healing.